I can't imagine in putting myself in a position of, you know, there's gonna be kids coming out five, ten million dollars uh, in their pocket. Yeah. And it'll change your negotiation of representation to attain that that client. But I think managing that client becomes a whole nother ball game. What do you foresee as some of the challenges uh, because you'll end up with someone who already has a brand and has already made money? You know, I think some of the challenges will be breaking bad habits you know when i represent a player maybe they haven't maybe they don't come from money they never had money i can start to really implement that financial literacy and good habits those are things that i'll have to help almost quote unquote clean up this show is brought to you by better help therapy is a great tool for facing your fears and finding ways to overcome them because sometimes the scariest thing is not facing our fears in the first place and holding ourselves back. It's helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. It isn't just for those who've experienced major trauma. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Overcome your fears with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash playbook today to get a 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash playbook. Imagine starting a small business, your first customer, first hire, first real paycheck, but everything isn't just exciting, it's scary. That's where JustWorks come in, the all-in-one platform that supports small business growth, access seamless tools that help with benefits, payroll, HR, and compliance with transparent pricing. It's time to make payroll painless, run payroll in 90 seconds or less, and automate payments so you can set it and forget it. Did you know in 2023 alone, they processed over 25.6 billion in trusted payroll customers. Don't worry about the paperwork piling up either. They take care of payroll tax documents and reporting to help you stay compliant. Visit justworks.com slash podcast to join the thousands of small businesses that trust JustWorks to take care of payroll, benefits, compliance, and more. That's justworks.com slash podcast. This day melts with Entrepreneurs the Playbook. And I have the new generational entrepreneur, Nicole Lynn. She's my new bestie, as she just said, NFL agent, president of football operations for Clutch Sports. And she is a lawyer, but we're not going to hold that against her. Welcome to the playbook, Nicole. Thank you for having me, bestie. (laughs) All right on. I had to have you on the playbook. We've done a few things together. And every time that we do some sort of uh, interview or fireside chat or TV show, I just literally say, oh my gosh, more people need to know who Nicole Lynn is and loves sports. She makes money. She's gorgeous, you know, and yet I know you're human because I am. And it's worse now because of the amplification in media and branding, not just the athletes face this, but you're facing it as well. How do you help the client know that, look, I am not perfect, right? Managing expectations to the negative that, look, we're going to work together but I'm going to miss things. I'm going to do my best. I'll try to find you the right answers. Or do you ever illuminate to them or do you play the perfect role? Definitely don't play the perfect role. You know, when something doesn't go as planned, I like to take accountability up front. I think it's important to show them what that looks like so that they'll hopefully emulate that, emulate that in their own lives. You know, I am a human. I will forget things. I won't do things perfectly. You know, I will have moments where I can't take your call or maybe I need a mental health day. Um, I will say I've found that I try to hide a bunch of that sometimes in my career and I'm trying to do a little bit better. Um, But yeah, I mean, I just trying to, trying to just keep it real. And I, and I do that on my social media too. I share, you know, my successes and then my biggest failures. I'm very transparent. I want people to see the full picture. It's not being a sports agent. It's not all glitz and glam. That's for sure. I've, 
transitioned from it for that reason. Now, there's been a huge rule change that I think is going to affect Agent Tria a lot because it affects the monetization of an athlete before we get our hands on them. And it really opens doors for manipulation uh, yeah. of the system. I'm seeing it already. When I saw the Bryce article that he's already up to almost a million dollars, I'm thinking, gosh, you know, if I'm a huge Alabama uh, supporter, how easy it for me just to create a deal for a half a million dollars for a kid and call it licensing um, <laughs> or signing. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, you're going to have another ego layer. Uh, you know, it's one thing when you get a kid who just wants to make money and save his family. I can't imagine in putting myself in a position of, you know, there's going to be kids coming out five, $10 million uh, in their pocket. Yeah. And it'll change your negotiation of representation to attain that, that client. But I think managing that client becomes a whole nother ballgame. 